Bless the Lord. Praise God. We're going to start now. Um, we have to a bit late start, but we got to get moving on and get busy on the king's business. Amen. Praise God. This is about the kingdom of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in the time of trouble and these are troublesome times but you know the lord tells us not to fear because he have overcome the wicked one he has what overcome the wicked one praise god hallelujah glory to god glory to god hallelujah. and we're gonna get it get into the word and then start with the word and then start with the worship here praise god hallelujah i mean in romans chapter 5 we we'll start with romans chapter 5 hallelujah mm. praise god it says therefore having been justified by faith praise god when we start, we want everybody in the house to stand. Thank you. Yes. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations we glory in tribulations knowing that tribulation produces what perseverance and perseverance produces character and character produces hope now hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out in our hearts huh? the love of god has been poured out in our hearts hallelujah by the holy spirit who was given to us for when we were still without strength in due time christ died for the ungodly for scarcely for a righteous man will one die yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die but god demonstrate his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners christ died for us he died for us when we were still sinners but he's not coming for us still being sinners watch the thing much more than having now been justified having what now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to god when we were enemies through the death of his son much more much what more having been reconciled been reconciled we shall be saved we shall be saved by his life and not that only not only that but we also rejoice in god through our lord jesus christ to whom we have now received the reconciliation Therefore, just as through one man's sin, through one man's sin entered the world, death through sin, thus death spread to all men because all sin. Death did not spread to all men because one sin, it spread to all men because all sinned. For until the law was in the world, huh? until the law was in the world, but sin is not imputed where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to who? To Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who is a type of him who was to come. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if by the one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man jesus christ abound to many come on now the grace of god and the gift by the grace so he says it's not just the grace abound the gift abound 
by the grace you see in that hallelujah and the, the gift is not the grace the grace is the gift but it says there's a gift that comes by the grace speaking of his holy spirit come on and the holy spirit doesn't lead you to sin <laughs> and the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned for the judgment which came from the one offense resulted in condemnation but the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification he says the gift that came resulted in us being made righteous for if by the one man's offense death reigned through the the one much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace come on if he give you as a gift then you must put the gift to work man you can't just have the gift and say i got it the gift must show its works works of righteousness must be seen by the righteous amen therefore as through one man's offense judgment come to all men resulting in condemnation even so through one man's righteous act the free gift came to all men the free gift what and what is the result of the gift resulting in justification of life the life must show forth righteous deeds come on not sinner deeds and scarring yourself just god never gave any such right for as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners also by one man's what obedience many will be made righteous moreover the law entered that the offense might abound but we are sin abound what grace much more abound in other words what damage sin brought grace brought much more power through the gift of grace and the power of the holy spirit to undo those works so you say so that as sin reign in death even so grace reign through what what does green grace reign through righteousness it don't reign through sin come on it reign through righteousness to what eternal life the god kind of life uh, life of the godly is eternal life come on eternal life true christ jesus our lord praise god that's the life he came to give us what you say praise god and so we got to know that it's a real life it's not an imaginary life come on now it's a what a real life and we who know the life of god in christ must understand hallelujah that the life we have in christ is not a joke life what you say praise god so we're not one of them who say we're not under the law so we can't sin and there's no sin because we're not under law anyone who sin is under the law anyone who sin is under the law god that's the purpose of the law to point out sin so if you're dead to sin then still you're not under it kind of nothing to point out in you right then you have to understand that you have nothing to point out because the lord already said he did not come he did not come to destroy the law because what is the law anyway what is the law the law is the word of god you know the word never come to destroy the word he come to fulfill it to establish it <laughs> hallelujah glory to god glory to god so so we're not one of them who tell people say hey we're not under law so so we can't live in it all because god grace cover us as sinners that means that we get license through grace to sin and get away that's not one of the church this is hallelujah we know those church lack revelation and understanding of the truth and those who do such things the word of god says will perish God, they will not produce fruit of righteousness come on now what you who love the lord must worship the lord in what spirit and in truth is a reason why i say and in truth 
Because some people will say the, the spirit is here this morning. Not true. Well, that's not true. God, they are not here. Right? So, we, we, when it says spirit, and in truth, it calls for deeds to line with what you say in spirit is about because the spirit of truth confirm truth. Come on now. It don't work against truth and still says truth. Uh -uh. The same way your spirit must connect with what you say. Hallelujah. And your actions must connect with what you say. Played out in the flesh that shows that if you say righteous, it is righteous. No, so praise God. So you can understand the principle and flow with it and see God's power magnified in your life. What you say? Come on, give God the praise in here. All right, you're going to acknowledge our Father. Come on, let's talk to Him right now and just let's thank Him for bringing us here one more time to celebrate him here on Saturday hearing to bless and magnify your name we want people to know the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth because you said it is the truth that brings true deliverance true salvation true fellowship true communion with God we cannot abide in lies and under the influence of lies and deception and falsehood and have true relationship with you hallelujah because anything that is of truth is of God hallelujah and those things of lies is of the devil and so you want us to have true fellowship with your lord god in the name of jesus that we worship you in spirit and in truth and you're calling the people hallelujah from the north the south the east and the west you're calling a family out of a family a people out of a people a nation around nation you're raising our people to worship you in spirit and in truth that will not hallelujah put anything or idolize anything over your word oh god but they will embrace your word as truth for you cried out in in saint john 17 verse 17 sanctify them by your truth for your word is truth and he said it's by the truth we are sanctified it's what set us apart from this sinful world and set us apart unto you for true fellowship and worship is the very thing that the world doesn't want to hear the word but we who hear the word and do the word you say those are truly blessed it's not just those who hear it but those who do it hallelujah because some will say i hear and i believe but they are not doing it but you say it's the doer of the word that is blessed praise god and i pray that more doers will rise up in the name of jesus because you gave us your holy spirit to do what the word of god says to accomplish those things to walk in those things that you have declared and ordained for us to walk in those good things before the foundation of the earth and so we embrace that truth and said yes lord lead us into more truth hallelujah in the fullness hallelujah of christ as we embrace your word holy spirit teach us and and minister to our spirit man and cause us to raise to higher levels of faith and activating your word and your life in us in jesus name we thank you right now that your word is going forth to god and people are hearing and people are moving with this word and i pray more will hear today as you overthrow and and turn and destroy the work of satan every high tower every strong defense every wall every armor that he trust in will be demolished by your word today and that your hearts will melt in your presence and those who hear will run to you and know of a truth that our god reigns in all the earth hallelujah the earth belongs to you and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein and we surrender to you we commit it to you and we command that every resistance will be crushed every rebellion will be destroyed and that your great name will be greatly exalted every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are lord and we give you the glory we give you the praise we give you the honor in the name of jesus come on give him the praise right now Oh, come on, give him the praise right now. Give him the praise right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to get in some worship. Praise God. Warriors say. 
two believers declare it. I am blessed, 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 blessed. I am blessed. Hey, yes. Every day. I am blessed. Bless, bless, bless. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. My God, hey, I am blessed. Bless, bless, bless. I am blessed every day. My God, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head, my God. Woo! One more time. I am blessed, 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 blessed. I am blessed yes. every day of my life. I am blessed, truly blessed. When I wake up in the morning, <laughs> somebody <laughs> touch your neighbor and say, Neighbor, you know, much people curse me. You know, much people didn't think I'd be alive today. Some give me nine years, some give me ten years. But here I am, here I am, here I am. Look at me today. I still believe in. I still praising. I still worshiping. Still living for God. Hey, I am blessed, 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 blessed. I am blessed. Every day. I am blessed, 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 blessed. When I wake up in the morning. And I lie. They want to kill me, but I'm still blessed. God still fighting my battle. Oh yeah, yeah. I am blessed, 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 blessed. Every day. Hallelujah. You're coming true. You're coming true. And I lie. Anybody blessed today? War in Zion. Every day. Wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest. I am blessed. I am blessed, blessed, blessed. I am blessed every day. Yeah, when I wake and I lay, come on. God still fighting for you. Anybody believe it? Say it one more time. I am blessed, 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 blessed. Hey. I am blessed when I wake up in the morning and I lay my head. I am blessed. On somebody give him a praise. Anybody know God fighting for them? Anybody know the victory is already yours? Anybody know they're coming through with a show? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wow! What a God good! Me not worry, me not fret, cause me God never feel me. <laughs> me not worry, me not fret, God never feel me. Hey, me not worry, me not fret, cause me God never. Hey, me not worry, me 
in our prayer. God never. Cause you may God never Hey, me not worry Me not fret God never feel me yet Hey, me not worry Me not fret Cause you may God never Never, never, never Me not worry Me not fret God never One more time Me not worry Me not fret Cause you may God never Hey, me not worry, me not fret, God never. Hey, me not worry. Hey, God see me, God never, He never, never, never. Hey. Things already better, my God. Things already. Cause the Lord is on my side My God you got to know it for yourself And put the devil to shame Things already Already better Yes For the Lord is on my side <laughs> Things already better Already better for the Lord is on my side. Don't you trouble Zion. Don't you trouble Zion. Zion got the key. Don't you trouble. Tell them, say, don't you trouble Zion. Yeah. Don't you one more time said don't you trouble Hallelujah Yeah Say I got a key Don't you trouble Come on give God a praise in here Hear your praising. Come on, stamp that feet. Clap those hands and give God the praise in here. Tell a neighbor, say neighbor. No retreat, no surrender. Press along, saints. Press along in God. Hey, press along, saints. In God, man, the persecution we must face, trials and crosses. Oh, the attack, the battle. Come on, let's press along, saints. Press, press in God's own way. Hey, press along, saints. Hey, in God. Man, the persecution we must face. Trials and crosses in a body, a tardy, but a sweeter. One more time. Press our lungs. Press, press in God's. Hey, press our lungs. Wow! And the persecution we must face, trials and crosses in our way. Oh, the attack, sweet the big. One more time, press along, saints, press in God's. Man, just press along, saints, in God's. Man, the persecution we must face, trials and crosses, over the attack. Victory is coming. After the battle, the attack, the battle, the sweeter. It's coming for your girl. The attack, the battle, the sweeter. 
God still remember your son. He had heard him, but heard the sweet Hang in there, my brother. He had heard him, but heard the sweet One more time. He had heard him, but heard Glory to God, the Micah. Hallelujah. Now we want to hear some testimony. Somebody who's been in the fight and know that Jesus took them out. Shot and spite and straight to the point. Praise God. Testimony. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I have been here. One more time. <laughs> I come last week after. And I come this week. And I feel the touch of Jesus as I enter to the doorway. I'm going to tell you something. Maybe I, couldn't, maybe I couldn't make it this morning. This little girl is so very sick from when? I think a couple of weeks back she went to the yard. He was in Montego Bay. When she come down, she was acting up like she, she crazy. There is like the demons attack her. And I called one lady and he ended up back the phone out of my hand. And I take over the phone and I go over yard and I call the lady. He said, no one talk to the, talk to the woman. Who is that woman? And when the lady said, go back, I know who you is. So go back and ask him, what is the demon's name? What inside of her? She gave me a name. When she gave me the name, I rebuked the demon with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I said, come out. I step on her. She said, you step on me. Me say, I'm not stepping on my daughter, Chin. I'm stepping on your demon, so come out of my daughter. Anyway, he come round and he go back and he go to Regina. can see, say, he really come around. He go to Regina and he sign up a piece of paper and he carry to Montego Bay up to the... And get back the um the new passport. As she said, she come around very good. She end up and him go back again to Montego Bay at that white man. <laughs> and when he go back and coming back with the little child in her hand, I see say something wrong again with her. I say, God Almighty Jesus, he have me a lot. He have me a lot to reach here with her. He have me a lot to reach here with her. But thanks be to God, I am here with her. Thank you, Jesus. I know what you can do. I know what you can do for me, Jesus, today. Yes. And I give in my heart to you, Lord, and I want my children to give them heart. I was calling pastor, but when I listened, I hear him that he, and, uh, the music the the service was on. Mm -hmm. I said, anyway, I pray. And there's a sister who called me. I don't know what the blue moon and she called me. And when she called me, I said to her, I said, my daughter, I feel, I feel so well. And he said, if me give him three in one. I said, I was probably give her. But anyway, the feeling down on her. She come around, but she acting like, you know, some funny movements way in her. Anyway, he said, if you count a rock, pan, count a rock, chat. <laughs> I said, okay, with the bush, so by the bush. Anyway, he come around, that she could put on in clothes this morning. So give God thanks and praise. She's she here. She deliverance. Something. Praise God. So praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not bush with the, with the with blood and Holy Ghost and fire. Hallelujah. Come on, give God the praise here. So if you hear the word today, you will get delivered. You hear me? You hear what I said to you? Yes. Hallelujah. You will get delivered today because the anointing of Christ destroy every yoke. So whatever plague in your taking, set and your tormenting, you, it's going to leave you today. When? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Testimony. Somebody give God the praise in here. Hallelujah. 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 You know, I was recently employed, and within two weeks of my employment, things got slow, which was a cause of concern for me and my coworkers. But I encouraged myself. I personally believe that they would lay off, lay off the new employees. 
which was a cause of which was a cause of concern. And but I'm I'm grateful to God this morning. No one was laid off. Um, we are working on rotation started from last week. And I'm just so thankful to God this morning for his goodness, his mercy, and his grace upon my life. It could have been the other way because we were recently employed. We were recently employed. They could have laid us off, but thanks be to God. He has kept me in my job. I still have my job, and I'm just giving God thanks. And I have to give God thanks for increasing faith deliverance ministry. Hallelujah. Praise God. God knows to secure in your position, man. You just have to trust and activate the word. What do you say? Hallelujah. Testimony. Yes, man. Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm here to give my testimony. Yes. I call and I talk to pastor about certain things. And I can see the look changes taking place. Yes. And whoever asks pastor to pray for who I work with and was getting ready to go to doctor and so forth. And the next morning when I go to work, she said, you know, something better. Call the pastor, but may I call you, but I couldn't get you. Yes. So I say, you know, something do. You must send something to the church because I don't know if pastor have to pay rent. <laughs> send something to the church because you're sending tithes to a church where your pastor never call you. <clears throat> never pray for you. Don't be so with you. So believe, I got, I got to take one of the envelopes, can I go give her? She must do something for the church. Because Miss Manny, when I go and see her, Get up strong, they do everything. Anyway, saying though, me at 19, much you know, I'm going to rest. <laughs> but me here, you rebuke out certain things. Yes, yes. And even that, his son in law is a priest and in prayer. Me say, it's not everyone pray, pray great. Hmm. This man, when in prayer, in prayer with the anointing. Praise God. That's what me tell her. Yes. Even if she feel away, way, I just tell her the truth. Yes, Because at that in my heart, I tell her the truth. Yes. Then she turned to me and said, true. <laughs> Thank you, God, for where you brought me through and for whatever take place in my life, God, mm -hmm. and you didn't make a change. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Come on, give God a praise. Yeah, man, the word of God said the effective and fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much you see we in this place why the things so powerful here is that we don't mix up we don't work with bush worker and herbalists uh, all kind of angel division mm -mm. we work with holy ghost and fire you understand the thing we work with what holy ghost and fire and when holy ghost and fire they work anything of the devil go and get uncomfortable you understand that they can't stay in this fire what do you say praise god so you have to understand that when you connect with the word something supernatural is taking place you hearing me somewhat supernatural is taking place praise god and if we connect with the word then we walk in faith and in obedience to the word and the power of God manifests following what you say Amen. praise any more testimony I want to hear them praise God yes man bless man, the Lord testify hallelujah <laughs> I just want to thank God for he for his mercy and his goodness truly I can say God is good and I I I, I know he's just good he can work out any circumstances, any situation in your life. I remember some months I've been praying. And I said, God, I prayed and asked God to help us to acquire a vehicle. And I pray because I want to come to church. And sometimes I had a bus fear. And because of the lockdown and the restriction kind of hinder us from coming most times. And I prayed. And I never stopped praying. And I prayed until... Um, we got a vehicle last week, Saturday. This week, we're going to make um, the one week. Yeah, so we have a vehicle now where we can come to church more regular. And I give God thanks and praise and honor. And I, I, I made a promise to him that whatsoever he wants me to do, I'll make myself available. Hallelujah. I just want to give God thanks for my immediate family, my church family. I just want to give thanks for our apostle and this ministry. 
I see where this ministry had helped me to grow grown in my spiritual life. And I just want to give God the praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name. Come on, give him the praise. Yes, man, step up the thing, man. And a praying wife, too. Praise God. It's good to have a praise God. It's good to have a wife that believes in the word. Hallelujah. Because when you have married to somebody who don't believe in the word, boy, it becomes a fight. Hallelujah. It becomes a wrestling. Praise God. And we have to understand the principle of where we are and whose we are. Amen. Hallelujah. And two cannot walk unless they agree. But the word of God says, if any two agree, as touching in it shall be done. What you say? So all God wants is your agreement, you know. If you really agree and you humble yourself and obey, the power of God comes upon you like, whoa. Hello. So we just want you just be obedient and willing and humble. What you say? Praise God and the thing will fall, man. The grace of God will break and the anointing of Christ will destroy every yoke and lift every and you start to see things start to shift this is like the second week my sister they were saying that she come and she said she start to see difference that even when she tell one of her workers who was sick about us and asked to pray for the worker here she said the worker got better by the next day come on now you have to tell the worker say man you have to swear to this ministry man you know hear the testimony oh that's what happened when you connect with the anointing hello somebody it's not connect just to a church name and a church building it is the anointing that destroys every yoke and what lifts every burden praise god it's not just connecting to a religious leader i'm not a religious leader hallelujah i'm ambassador of jesus christ hello somebody an apostle of jesus christ and the anointing come with me praise god and those who connect with me know it god they can sense the shift and know say it's not just me it's the anointing praise god and we want more people connect what you say yeah man they utter the battle see i'm so we say praise god any more testimony you want to hear the man hallelujah hallelujah let's praise god let someone say jesus i want to give god thanks this morning for his goodness and his mercy and his faithfulness and for the fact that i can rely on him i can rely on god not just me but any one of you who decides to trust god and trust in where he sent you and to whom he sent you to you can rely on god because god cannot lie it's not that he will not lie he cannot lie and doesn't matter how you feel it doesn't matter how you think it doesn't matter what's, what, what's happening around you god just cannot lie his word is truth his word is power his word is powerful it can heal you deliver you set you free give you peace of mind encourage your soul and help you to overcome so this morning i just want to bless the name of the lord for giving us the strength and the power and the word and the holy spirit and his presence so that we can overcome the enemy we can overcome whatever obstacles is in our way you know while we were worshiping just this morning i was there and the thought does jump in my spirit that you know a lot of persons are going around and thinking that this is the only thing but there's a life after this there is life after this this morning i was hurrying up the hill because i was late and i saw one of my neighbors and she asked me if his church was going and i said to her yes but i did not know that she know specifically where the church was located and um, when the person was driving come I was saying to him um, if you're going to go straight you can let me off and be we'll welcome she said in the church here come and say yes she said it's straight around there she's going that way so I said to her oh 
And he was saying, um, I said, we're going to church and I mentioned that we have service today and so forth. He was asking me about somebody. I said, I'm not familiar with that name of the person. He was saying to me, um, apparently it's a Seventh-day Adventist church, the person go to. So I said, no, we worship every day. Every day we're home. So I give him the time of a service and all of that. And I was letting her know that I did not know that she know um, where I was. And so I said, no, that you know, you hear the services. And I'm, go I'm inviting you one of these days. She became silent. And I was saying, yes, so you come silent, no. But I'm thinking to myself, they just live. They just live and don't understand that there is life after this. We are just living and behaving like how we run things. But there is a life after this. No matter what we think, no matter what we have, no matter where we are located, there is life after this. Some persons come here and come for apostles to pray for them, to lay hands on them and pray. And when they get the deliverance and when they get what they want, they're gone again. Not understanding that some of them don't live to come back because they're not understanding that that particular day or they were strategically placed to hear the word of God, to give themselves over to the God because nobody has any excuse nobody have any excuse this is not a time for us to waste every day of the every day that we get we get a choice we got a chance to make a choice to make that change in our life every day every single day and i just want to give god thanks for our pastor richard fagan even last night i was worshiping the enemy the mother now <laughs> the enemy makes us ashamed, man. We have to guard ourselves in the name of Jesus and the element of salvation. We need it more than any time now because guess what? Him working upon the minds. Him working upon the minds and the hearts of the people. And I have to remember the things of my father teams that I have to go home and say, Lord, my mouth can't talk on my heart. Now, you know, my warm heart and my mouth are empty. Yes, if I stand with you, sir, it's a war, you know, sir. Yeah. Me, me say to stand up with you is a war to stand with you it's a war to believe in what you are teaching us but let me tell you something whether I'm here physically or not and I'll be here by the grace of God you are doing a good thing and God is pleased with you are doing a good thing you are doing a good thing you are doing a mighty thing and God is pleased with you and I'm proud to be your child I'm proud to be here I'm proud that God sent me right here I'm in a lucky I'm blessed to be here and I'm thankful Absolutely. people don't waste what we have. Me not get it. Me go different church. Me go water lane church. Me go one church up beside prophecy. Me, go, me visit one uh, uh, clean of the sun. Me go fresh bread. And never, I told the Lord, never a man speak like, speak like this one. Never a man. Me go New Testament church. Me baptize in a, And I've never ever heard the word like I hear it from you, sir. And I'm going to say this. To make you feel me know say you know feel so swelly swelly me know but a true me talk me never hear the word brethren when i was sick the other day it's a word that keeps me it's a word me have to think pan and build up back my spirit man because me said christ say no me i'm not dead mm -hmm. and the enemy carried death to me mm -hmm. the enemy carried weakness to me and i remember my father rushed me sometime and said to me say i fear to forgive when you have fear to you will get that when me come back me now that the problem there again come go home go walk on the feet Mm. When we come back, we now have this issue again. I even feel that we can't live by feelings. No. We can't, some, some of the connection or some of it have cut it off. Some of the connection or have cut it off. There's no way you can be a child of God. And somebody who does not believe in God can tell you the way how to live. Then if them they know how to live, then they don't live that way there, you have to do some cutting off. I was reminded this morning while I was standing there about a prophet. He said, if God send you somewhere, he knows why he sends you there. Because God knows what you need. Yes. God knows what you need. And him now go send you go to the supermarket when a prescription if you go feel a pharmacy. I'm not going to send you a juicy beef when, I, when I somewhere else you forgot. And I was thinking about that prophet. I don't remember exactly. I think it's in Judges. Where the Lord sent out to do something. And he went out to do what the Lord said he should do. But the Lord told him that when he was coming back, he must walk the way that he went. Or something of the sort. Or either walk the same way. And he let another prophet came and tell him that. No, the Lord said him. Let me tell you something. Young prophet and the world prophet, man. <laughs> you see, when God tell you something, you better listen. Sometimes I will change my mind, and God change my mind. God not change. God not tell you if you go there, so. And then all of a sudden, he tell you if you just left, so. 
And God is a God of order. God not for fool. God no idiot. Let me tell you, we are in a war in this house and the overall over the whole world. The church is under serious attack. But let me tell you, we are winners. We are not going to win. We are winners. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Financial difficulties, children, husband, wife, this and that. You have to know where you stand with the Lord. If you're even married and your husband or your wife or your picnic wife, you go here or there, you have to know what the Lord says to you. You have to know what you want. When God sent you here, why did he send you here? What was your need? Is that need fulfilled? My mother always have one thing for setting, saying, you know, for dash your tick before your cross river. We are in a war, but we cannot lose. We cannot lose. You know, from yesterday, the Lord has laid a song in my heart, but I'm not going to take no time for singing a song no but let me tell you something if god has given you the resurrected power let us live a resurrected life let us live a resurrected life let us pray for each other because my father teaches in this house that they are seducing spirit and spiritual wickedness in high places so if you don't mind about the things that you're proud and these things that you're standing you can't fall Mm. You can fall if you don't care. If you're not careful, you have to focus. You have to be vigilant. The enemy care things come to your mind about your leader, about other members. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You, I can stay. Oh, yo, I know if apostle has done something because I know the character that he has. Mm. And if somebody come and tell me, say, um, him do this or what? If, if me come to me and tell me same do me know so I must God tell him because you must know the character. You must know the person that God said. He said that not thief and a robber. He said that he will give you a shepherd that have his heart uh, like what him have. But him have, let me tell you something. Let us not waste what we have in an increase in faith. Because what we have, it is not. No matter how you look. Sometimes when you do something pitney and you go to school and you see other pitney lunch here, yeah, one and I say, Oh, them lunch look nice. That you know so they want for your lunch. They want for your lunch, you know, mm -hmm. and you that are hungry for them lunch. Standing away you have and take what you have in yourself. Because what you have in yourself are better than ox steel, a better than steam fish, a better than any man. No sex, no sweet so. Look at children in here. But no boyfriend, no sweet so. No man, no sweet so. No, no sweet. Not even you have money. Not even when you have money, because sometimes you turn have money, you turn idiot. Not even when you have money, not even when you have the big old, because sometimes we get the house and we forget about God. Sometimes we get the piece of land, we forget about God. We have to stay home and I build up this and I build up that, and forget that God has given it to us. Mm. Let us remember the promises that we make to God because in his promises is yes and amen. Let our promises be yes and amen. Don't move from the landmark where God has placed you because if you do it, you're going to sink. Any one of us do it, we're going to sink. It may look all right now. It may look like you can swim out in the deep. But when you get out in the deep, that's when you're going to find out that there are sharks out there that you cannot fight. That you cannot overcome. That you cannot win. You can't swim through this one. Every war you go through, you need a captain. You need a head to lead you, to guide you, to guard you, to instruct you. Sometimes your instructor can't do nothing more than shout and give you a command. He can't tell you why. He must just give you the command. And we have to learn to humble ourselves and be obedient. Obedient. We have to learn it. We have to learn it. You think that him not have to learn to? He must have to learn to. He must have to learn to. So I'm not here to teach, teach. Come here, another teacher here. But I have to take it for myself. I'm not talking to you only. I'm talking to myself also. My children, myself. This is war. Say war. And we have to stand but remember in whose name we stand remember where him sent us don't make nobody fool you it's not a time now for think about self and flesh and what your friend feel and what your friend do remember i remember when you came here you keep that testimony in your mind you your couple Keep that testimony in mind. You have to remind yourself. Remind yourself when you come here, why you came here, how you reach it. Remind yourself. Remind yourself each and everyone because that's what helps to keep me. I remind myself daily what he's done for me because nobody else never did it. 
Nobody else. No one compare, no one judge, and no one give glory. Nobody else never do it. <laughs> when I sit down my tired seat, I remember. I mean, oh, we are some not take long, but let me tell you. When I sit down my tired seat, I remember when you draw out of me. Mm. I remember when you draw out of me. In time, I give my testimony, everybody, all right, and say, God, good in, but they say, I reach at the park there. No cure, save them, say them, save them, not understand. When your past draw out my inner femi belly, inner femi spleen, when I couldn't draw, listen to me, and put it out in a bathroom, and the same day, I couldn't walk, talk, eat, sleep. You remember that, sir? Yes. And that same day, when he come next, man, me just a chat and a chat and I know me, a, and I know me a chat, me chat no flang to, chat and a chat and a chat and I look for me and say, Mits. me I say, yeah, hear yeah, me, sir? Then me realize how me can chat. Me never did a chat. Me all box off my food, and if I, that's the only thing. You can remember the one look or something. Just use it and hold on. You hear what I said to you? Use it and hold on because you're going to have what you call them naysayers. And you're going to have people say this and people say that. And Tom, they can hurry and say this and say that and whatever. I am, I, I not, I'm not. But I was diagnosed with leukemia. And he may never listen to him. Doctor sent me home a long time for dead. Mm -hmm. For dead. My blood count was four and going down. I had no platelets. You understand what I'm saying? I had a virus that them say, them say me I forget rid of because or whatever and then give me all kind of medication. I couldn't use these legs. When I came here, I had to hold on on my children mm. to reach in here. Remember where God sent you, why he sent you here. Persons are going to come to you, even other religious leaders, and they're going to say things to you. Remember, keep that in your spirit. Let us all pray for each other at this time and put on the helmet, all of the garment, all I wore garment, the whole light. But the enemy, they walk upon the minds. Walk upon the minds. So let us keep it and shield of faith and pray for one another in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God the praise. Yeah. You know, persons don't understand we are preparing. We are being prepared for our body. We are what? Being prepared for our body. So, so, if you're not faithful in this one, why should he give you that one? You know, person have to remember the journey that they had in coming here, you know. Because many don't remember how it was when they just come here, you know. Some only remember how they are now. They don't remember what state they were in when they came. And if you forget what state you was in when they come here, easy for your feet, brush off and say, you are right by yourself. You understand that one? Yes, man, if you forget what brought you, what state you came in when you're here, you can easily feel, say, sure, yes, you never do nothing much for you. Because you don't remember what state you was in when you come. Right, and it's good to remember where the Lord take you from so your head not get you know, yes, man, and humble yourself and understand that the Lord used somebody to bring you from where you from was to where you are now. If you wasn't under any leadership, you wouldn't make it by yourself. That's why God sent you to leadership. You get it? Yeah, man, anybody can do it without leadership, don't need to be here. It's those who need it need to be here. Now, true. Right, so God don't give you a leader if you don't need one. Hello? I said God don't give you a leader if you don't need none. Right, so if he send you to a leader, it's because you need leadership. So people didn't come to the building, it's me they come to. If I wasn't here, nothing, nothing like this wouldn't be happening in the building. It was a tool store inside here. They have it run at water lane now. Tools and parts, Mr. Shaw. It was here much years. And when they left, then a funeral home was here. Yes. Come on now. Talk to me now. Yes, man, right inside here, sir. And look at the power of God in here now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I know where any of them work their witchcraft. If you get dead, so you can't make him business profit. And we come and cut out them something there. Hello? Oh, so, 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 you people must remember where they're coming from here. Because I remember, you know, and some don't remember because I know a lot of times when people get up and make people corrupt their minds towards me, they forget what I did for them, you know. They, them treat it like, say, nothing never done. Then just come here and get the Lord and say, Lord, do it for them. It's not me. I mean, no, say it wasn't the Lord alone do it for them, you know. Because the Lord was with them all along and it never getting done. Mm -hmm. ow, ow, ow. <laughs> but it have a show, not true. Right. So we believe, say, if you really love the Lord, huh? Because if you don't really love the Lord, they can't walk with me. You can't tell you that straight. They can't walk with me because me, I'm, I'm not going to pour that puff and, and sugarcoat truth give you. And when you're wrong, they, they pat it on your shoulder and say, Is that right? We understand how you feel. No, we're going to give it straight to if you go. And so some person don't like them kind of straight talk there. Hello, so then just cut and say, All right, we can't take this amania. Yeah. But that's all right. One day you realize the error you hear. Hello, yeah, man, you have to understand it. So when she said that, many people don't realize it's not this life alone we're living for. Many people don't get it because if you notice, all their effort is into this life, you know, and they don't realize the only thing preparing you. For the life to come is what you're getting here. Know your school, know your workplace, know your business. None of that not going with you there. You know, and I was considering that how Paul said it into First Corinthians one verse nineteen. He says, "If in this life only." If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we have all men the most pitiable. Come on. He said we deserve pity more than anybody else if we think says this life alone we have the hope. Come on. In other words, if you bake all your hope on this life, you know, you don't have much hope at all. That's what he's saying, you know. And there's a reason why he says, only. And that is something that many people don't pay attention in that verse. That if, he's, if you are saying it's one life you have, then it's this life only you have open. Come on. Because if it's only one life, come on. Then he wouldn't say, if in this life only. Oh, that sound. Our. Right. So some people just living for this one. All the rushes for this one. And the Lord is actually here saying something different. Come on now. Uh, Jesus, Jesus don't come here. Jesus, Jesus come here to build church, correct? No, Jesus. We said Jesus come here to build church, correct? Uh, he never come to build business place. School, come on now. He never come. Hello, somebody. He never come to to build other things here. With the main thing is focus on. Hello, somebody. The main thing is focus on is to build church. And what is the church? A church is as an embassy, you know. You know, embassy. 
When you go to embassy, what you go to embassy to do? To build business? To get married? To get children? To have money? You go to embassy to get your documents aligned for immigration, you know, for migration. You know. I mean, you are being prepared for another country. Yeah. So, so when you go to, when you go to embassy, embassy is a religious place. <laughs> But you see, when they say church, they believe it's religion. That's why they don't see the purpose of it. And that's why they abuse it. We are preparing you for a city whose builder and maker is God. We are preparing you for a body that God has prepared for you that will not wear out. A body, he says, that is eternal. That match the life that he give you in Christ. That will suit the city. The kingdom that he's placing you in. That is an eternal kingdom. Come on. And being say you are he, he giving you eternal life. You need an eternal body to suit it. And he's giving you an eternal place to be in. An eternal kingdom. Come on. Hello. If you don't know them, something the man, you know, make it ever go rob you and get you boggled up with all the cares of this world that your hands are full, you don't have no time for looking at your inheritance. And soon the devil can come rob you like a Isa because Isa don't know the word to inheritance. You know? That's why he sell it out when he come under pressure. But Jacob will know the word of his inheritance, willing to die to get it. You understand? That's why the Lord said, I love Jacob. He willing to die to get it. And that's the Lord that says, if you then know your inheritance is the kingdom, because the word of God said, it is the Father's good pleasure to give to you. To give to you what? The kingdom. Then he said, if he's giving you a kingdom, now you must know about what he give you. Talk to me. If you don't investigate what the world going to teach you about the kingdom. Come on. So, so he says then, if you then interested in your inheritance, you're going to inquire about the kingdom. That's true. And he said, teach us to teach you about the kingdom. Come on now. So I say, if you desire both that, don't I say, going to seek first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness, and the other things where the world run down. Why run you down? What you say? Come on now, <laughs> come on now. And Matthew six verse thirty three. So he says, the world have a way of running down those things, you know. It's because they fear that they will not have it if they don't run it down. They don't trust God and his kingdom to provide it for them. They believe if they don't run it down, they're not going to get it. Come on now. Here it is. For after all these things the Gentiles seek. After all these things, when he said the Gentiles seek, he's speaking to disciples who are Jews. And since the gospel first come to them, the Gentiles in the context of what he's speaking would be the ungodly. He says, that's what they run after. That's what get their heart pumping and their adrenaline rushing. Yeah, man. I've talked to many of them, man. I talk to them. They say, man, hey, if you talk to me about money, we hear you. 
Oh, no, talk to me about no God. You hear that one? Eh? Oh, and some is even bold enough to tell you, my money is my God. Means say, if you not talk to them about money, they don't want to hear. Come on now. But, but he, he, he says, those are the things the ungodly run down, you know. But he says, but your heavenly father, he wants you to know, you have a heavenly father, even if the earthly one not doing job. You have a heavenly father who knows that you need all these things. In other words, it's not a heavenly father who say, because you, do you in a earth, I'm going to get to heaven, so you don't need them something there. No, he said, I know you need them. You, you seeing that thing? And most people believe say the heavenly father don't care about no physical need you have. <laughs> you ever heard that one before? Many people believe say God don't care about your physical need. The only thing God care about is your soul. Tell me say you never hear that one day. Right? But, but that's not true. He said he knows that you need some of these things most of these things all these things but he says this is how you go about it this is the way hallelujah seek first the kingdom come on god's sovereign rule over your heart and over your life that when the things come the things don't move you. Come on now. When the things come, the things don't rule you. The things don't run your life. But you run things. You understand the thing? But if your heart, if you run down those things without your heart being submitted and governed by the king, then those things will to take rulership over you. Is no in between. There's no neutralized zone. And I've heard many people say, "No man, me can't do it. I I can't do it out being ministered to. I can't do it out pastor. I can't do it out church. But but I know say in my heart I'm not going sin. <laughs> but if it was so, Jesus would need to build no church, you know. And it's the one thing he built when he said the gates of hell will not prevail against. Now if he said gates of hell, he's not talking about a gate like you're going through a gate. He's talking about the council. When he said the men stand at the gate, they're talking about leaders of the city. Men in authority. So when he say gates of hell, he's talking about the authorities of hell, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. He says they will not prevail against the church. What you say? So if we understand that principle, say them coming, and if you are not properly trained, you can't do it. Or you're going to miss your training and do it. I think Bolt can use in good name and just got fun track and run race and win. You think his name he using and run win race? You think it's his past record he use and win race? It's training. And no matter how good a record he had before I'm missing training. He can't keep up that record. Come on. So what we're doing here is training you. Lord Jesus. What we're doing here is what? Yeah. So say, you're seeking first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. But oh, you're going to get that righteousness that he said all these things will be added unto you. Hebrews chapter 12. 
He said, all oh, you are practicing and able to receive that righteousness. Huh? He says, you come into that righteousness by chastening. Come on. Enduring chastening is your training. Look at that. That is your training. Come on. You can't just sit in a class and not study and not practice the work and say, me go pass the exam. There's a training. Look at that. He says, now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but what? That's the training, you know. People don't come and train inside to have fun. And some people come at church for have fun. Come on now. They come to be trained. Look at that. And training, he says, is a painful process. But it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness. It yields what? Now many don't want the training. They want to do it on their own time. Man. Do it their own way and say, I believe I can train myself. But if you could train yourself effectively, God wouldn't give you a trainer. You get the thing? If you could what? How are you listening? Hallelujah. If you could train yourself, God don't into giving you things you don't need. I want you to understand that. What me say? God is not into giving you anything you don't need. Okay, anything you don't need that he can give you is going to be abused. It's going to be wasted. And God is not into waste. Come on. Even the fish and the bread that was eat is still telling his disciples, say, pick up the scraps for leaf. It was not wasted. It's still put in basket to carry into the city. God is not into waste. Come on now. So you have to understand if God plants you here. Am I talking to anybody here? Like my, like my daughter was saying, you, you, you don't go to pharmacy to buy party. Come on. God don't send you to pharmacy to buy party. He don't send you to party shop to get prescription fulfilled. So he said, where is sending you? He knows where he's sending you. Something is there that he wants you to get. No, sir. If you meet the need. But if you don't connect the need with where he's sending you, you can't go there and left and I go and do other things and still. Come on now. And that's not God's way of doing things. That is not righteousness. What God do is right. Anybody know what I say? In other words, God is always right. Am I talking to anybody here? Now the Lord says that whom the Lord loves, he what? Now this is the reason why the world is not saved. Most in the world will tell you, me no say God love me. Not true. Mm -hmm. So if God love them, why are they not saved? Uh, because they believe, since God love me in a missing, even me continue to sin, 
God still love me. He love me just the way I am. Just as I am without a pee. Hello. <laughs> but God's love does not come without chastening. His love does not come without scourging. You know, scourging. <laughs> Come on now. He, he says, he scourges and chastens some son, more son, every son he receives. Come on. Did you realize that even Jesus, who never sinned, did not return to the father without scourging and he never sinned oh jesus all your things there oh well, jesus you know. jesus not get no scourging car jesus right so what the wounds was for what the scourging was for, what the flagging was for, what the stripes was for. Come on, somebody. Hello. By his stripes. So where the stripes come from? <laughs> come on. It is a tattoo. <laughs> eh? It's stripes a tattoo. No beatings. Severe flogging. Severe whipping. He endured. Did he endure it? What's that? No one talk. Me said, did he endure it? Hallelujah. So he even as a son do his obedience, still had to endure it, you know. My God. Hallelujah. He as an obedient son endure it. Come on now. Because the father said he wants somebody to take it for us. Come on now. And being that he's taking us into the sonship, he himself is not excluded from the flagging. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every son must get it. And he himself endured it. Not so. That's why it says, he, though he was a son, yet he learned what? Obedience by what? The things he suffered. He suffered some things. Now if the obedient son had to suffer some things. What do you think about you and me? Talk to me now. Because we know that the servant is not greater than his Lord. Come on now. So if he, our chief and elder brother, had to go through it, to be received by the Father, Come on now. In other words, he never went back to the Father the way he came. I want you to take note of that. He, the, the stripes on his body and bruises and piercing and affliction, he took back to the Father and said, see it here. Come on. So he said, you can't come in on this thing. I ain't not got through nothing, you know. Lord Jesus. Because some people say Jesus paid it all, so I mean, I forgot through nothing. But you have to go through something. Hello. Come on now. And some no one go through nothing. Hallelujah. But he says you have to understand that is the, the trying of your faith. I believe Peter said it. 
the chain of your faith is more precious than silver or gold so he said the world values silver or gold but he says the chain of your feet it do a work in you come on somebody it what oh my god he says that the genuineness of your feet being much more precious than silver and gold that perish though it is tested by fire what your what your what your faith must be found with your faith must be found to the praise honor and glory at when christ come the revelation of christ come on now hello so it's a man you that running from trial you that hiding out from chastening and saying well me was too tired me have too much things to do me have work for you me had had engagements me couldn't come you're hiding from your chastening and you need to know say longer you hide the more store up your fear because he receives every son with it and he said if you endure it it means say you know if you endure it you, know, you can decide say me not take this i'm not hearing this no more nobody talk to me so and step out the room that's why i may believe in an open door relationship because you're free to step out the room any time hello but if you step out you're just proving say you are illegitimate and you are not sons but if you endure it talk to me now if you what if you what no in I remember some people when them parents they beat them, you know. Them take foot and run, you know. Hello. But my mother now nah run with them, you know, friend. She just wait till we come in. Eat with food. Yeah, man. Get a nice bath. Lay down in a bed, they sleep and they turn, wrap up in a sheet. Then you just hear the door, just make one look at turn, so. And when you step in, door close. You understand that one, you know? So if you do that one time, you know, go do it twice, you know. The why no say better you stand up and endure it. Because when you run away, there's more fire. Come on now. You get the thing? When you run away, what? There is more fire, but if you settle yourself, come on now. And take the lick. He say you're going to learn something more than the painful experience of the lick. You are going to learn something called endurance. What you learn? And he said, when endurance is added to your feet, hallelujah, and perseverance is added to your feet, and godliness is added to your feet. Come on now. Hello, somebody. And brotherly love is added to your feet. He said, then you will not be barren nor unfruitful nor stumbling any of your ways watch out watch out watch out watch out there it is he says but also for this very reason giving diligence to what giving diligence to what who must give the diligence oh jesus i say who must give the diligence you you must ensure that you add 
to your faith. Don't just say my faith alone will do it. Got it? Add to your faith virtue, that's goodness, and to virtue, knowledge, and unto knowledge, self-control, because flesh, when it is afflicted, have a, 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 a sense of retaliation. I need to respond. Come on now. You getting it? But if you, if you humble yourself, I don't hear anybody here. I say, if you what? That means when the words start to lick you, you have to learn to take it without in your heart the boil like you want to say back something. Come on now. Because when the word have its full work and remove every sense of rebellion, come on now. Break every sense of resistance. You know when it beat some bit me and they face start to bull up like they want to lick your back. And start to tighten them fists and tighten them jawbone. So he says, uh, Thank God, I have no pity, so come with a kill him already. Hallelujah. Because the whole nature of it is, is offensive. And he's saying that the discipline is to get, is not to build the offense. It's to get the offense out. There's a spirit of offense. And when spirit of offense is developed in the heart, then there's a nature to defend. You get it? And if that offense don't get out, Then, then, then there cannot be a true healing of the flesh. Because Christ was not defending himself when they put that flesh on the cross. He wasn't defending himself when he spit in his face. When they pluck out his beard. When they whipped his back tore up his back with whip. He wasn't striking back and saying, you know who you're licking. So he says, if you are coming after him, you are being discipled by him. How are you going to take up cross and follow him if you still defend the flesh? Are you understanding that? That's why Peter, when he saw how they were man handling Jesus and realized that if he say he's one of the disciples, he go reach him to. He said, I don't know him. He denied Jesus because he don't want what happening to Jesus. Reach him. You know? That's why he said, I don't know him. You get it? So that's why the Lord said, remember it was Peter, oh Jesus, rebuked when he spoke to the disciples about his death. And Peter said, be it far from you that nothing will happen to you. In other words, nobody now go kill you. Nobody, you know, fall nobody on a name because if you suffer and die. Not under my watch. But what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say? Get thee behind me, Satan. For you care not for the things of God, but for the things of men. Come on. And right after that, he turned and said to his disciples, If you desire to come after me, you must deny yourself. Those who don't deny themselves cannot be true disciples. 
Because self have its own will, you know. Self have its own plans. Self have its own way of doing things. And if you're coming to be a true disciple of Christ, you have to park that. And Peter couldn't get up and just continue to be a fisherman when he linked with Christ. He recognized that his way and his plans had to be pushed aside for what plans Jesus had for him. Now so, and now he's submitting himself to someone else's plans. Not true. So that's why even when the rich young ruler come to Jesus, Jesus still tell him, say, you have to go back where you have, you know. Sell all your goods and give to the poor and then come. And then I'll make you my disciple. But he wasn't willing to do that. Because he won't be a disciple without pushing aside him plan. And many people come to the church like that. They want to be saved. But they want to be saved with their plan. You get it? And the Lord said to the disciples, anyone who come, they have to leave things behind to come. Then can't come with everything and keep everything. And I'll this thing work. Come on. Hello. They have to leave it all for my sake. That's why Jesus says anyone who love mother, father, sister, brother, son or daughter, husband or wife more than me is not worthy of me. Can you ever imagine that? Then God know why we love the children. He know why we love the brother and we sister. He know why we love the mother and the father. Yes, but he says the devil can use those relationships. To pull you away from him and he say, you must love him more than all of them. You get that one? Because if you don't love him more than all of them, the devil will set them up as idols in your life. And draw you away from the purpose of God. And you go down with them. You hear that one? That's why the Lord said, you must love the Lord your God. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Come on. Didn't Jesus say that's the greatest commandment? And he said the second is like it. He said that you love your neighbor as yourself. And he says, and this and all the law and the prophets. Come on. So he says, it is about loving God and loving others. But he says, how do you really love God come on true obedience humility and service come on when we say service can we talk about obedience already we are talking about humility denying yourself humble yourself you don't serve well when you are not humble mm. hallelujah glory to God and you need to understand that humility it takes the itches out of your service because where there is that lack of humility, everything, every act of obedience goes to a struggle because of pride, because of resistance, because of rebellion. Come on. But when you humble yourself, you are quicker to yield in obedience. Isn't that so? It's easier to flow in service when you are committed to service. And when you're doing it because you feel you have to, or you don't have any choice but do it so now.
is a difference. And so the, the one who is not humble may seem to be doing the same thing. But then we find that it don't carry the same flavor. It doesn't carry the same grace and anointing. Come on, somebody. Because what? God gives grace to the humble. He doesn't give it to the proud. He resists the proud. And you don't want to be doing nothing that the Lord resists you on. That's why I say seek first the kingdom. Because if the kingdom is not first, you are doing it without embracing God's help and involvement in what you're doing. Therefore, at the end of it, you feel justified in yourself that you did it. By my hand, I have done this. And the curse of God will come upon you. Because as you humble yourself with God to do it, then your boast will be in the Lord and not in yourself. Come on, somebody. You got it? Right? And that's what the Lord is saying. You got to seek His kingdom and His righteousness. And He says, All these things. He will add it to you. So He says, He's not after you getting those things. He's not against you getting food and shelter and raiment and riches and wealth and good education and successful business. But he says, if you don't put the Lord first in it, you are missing the chief ingredient that's going to cool it all together. And therefore, when the enemy comes, you have no, no resistance to keep him from destroying you and what you have achieved. That's not what the Lord wants for you. Come on. Who wants to be storing up things in the house when a thief is there? You see? You work hard for the things. You carry them home and then they're gone. So that's why he said, get the thief out first. Secure the house. When he says seek first the kingdom, he says secure the house. And then get the things. That way when you get the things, they are secure and your labor will not be in vain. Makes sense. But the world don't see it. So they think, say, no, we can secure ourselves. <laughs> and that's the error they make that lead them to destruction. Hello, somebody. But you, the Lord said, it is not so with you. It is not so. You must do things different as children of God. As those who are called, not you, unto righteousness and truth and holiness. He says, you must have a different way of operating that reflects your father. And you say, your father don't want you seen running up and down like a hamster in a, in a cup. Ever see hamster in a? And you're not going anywhere. And he says, that's not what he has appointed for you because he said, he don't do that to his children. <laughs> the world do that. But he says, those who are his children, they, they hearken to his word. And his word empowers them to live his kind of life that attracts these things. Oh, come on, somebody. You're getting it? Praise God. So God don't want to live Poor like what they call no church mouse. God wants you to prosper and be in good health as your soul prosper. 
but it don't make no you can't call it prosperity if your if your things prospering and your soul not prospering that's what the world is after because he said you're going to gain everything and lose the thing that is most valuable your soul and he says that's not wise the wisdom of the world is not the wisdom of God come on now so he says you who know the truth must show it in your actions no so because if you believe in God we must see it it must just be talk come on now it must have substance in the way you respond and we must see it and know this is truth because you're walking in it amen not just talking about it we're not the people that say we're trying to do it we're not the triers we are the doers it is the doers of the word that are blessed it's not those who try to do it god not going to give you own merit for trying he wants you to do it why you say you must do yes man and a long time the church they talk about we trying you know i say me holy but me they try you know i say me righteous but me try no you're not getting you're all those trials going to hell because it's not trying he call you to try it's do he call you to do he say it is the doers of the word that are blessed a lot of people trying and not doing it all now what you say to that right so it's not the trying he wants it to be to be done hallelujah because when how can he say well done my good and faithful servant and he never do it and god can't lie he go say well done because you try no he's going to say well done because you do it come on now so he, he, he wants you to be a doer of the word what you say praise god so that's the level we want you to be at because when you embrace that we other people are going to catch the fire and realize that we ain't called to just talk about this thing if we don't talk about some life we don't have yet but when jesus come we won't have the life no he said if we believe in him we have the life now when we have the life when we have the life oh uh -oh. and the word of god says so first john 5 verse 9 to 13 tell you that that he that have the son of eternal life so he said it's more than just life because if it's only human life you have or you say anyone who don't have the son does not have life in verse 12. so if it's one life you have and it's human life or you say those who don't have the son don't have it don't have life because we know it's humans that have human life we tell him to come and have the life that they have in christ so if it's one life why are we telling them say they don't have it are you seeing it you're seeing it are you seeing it come on what is the testimony of god what is the testimony of god he has given us what what and this life is in who so he didn't just say life is in the sun he said this life you seeing it so if he said this life is a different life than the life you have without him it's not the same life you have without him being extended with him it's a different life you have with him that's why it says and this life is in his son you got it and he says he who has not the son who has the son has that life but who don't have the son does not have that life you're getting it so they still have life because they're walking around they're breathing they still can have children 
so, so they still have life but they don't have that life and that life is not the same life that the parents gave them the parents never gave them eternal life the parents gave them mortal life that is a different life called eternal life mortal life is temporary eternal life is eternal you get that one it's two different kinds of life and he said those who don't have it you're going to see it in their behavior <laughs> come on because that life went sure come on now hello come on now you're following praise god so you have to understand if you have the life we must see it what you say come on stand in your feet we're gonna pray praise god hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord come on open your mouth and give him praise right now mm. praise god Thank you, Jesus. Give those hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Ha ha. The blood of Jesus, of the life of Jesus in it. Hallelujah. So it's not just a cleansing agent. It's releasing the life of God in Christ. In you. To walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you embrace that blood of Jesus. It cleanses you free from sin. And give you new life within. My shackles are broke. Yep. I am delivered. Yep. My shackles are broken. Yep. Good God. I've been set free. Oh, yeah. Come on, my shackles are broke. I am delivered. Hey. My shackles are broke. Ha, who the sun set free is free. I've been set free. Come on, my shackles are broken. My shackles are broken. Whoa. I've been delivered, church. I am delivered. Yeah. Yeah. My shackles are broken. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. I've been set free. Set free, set free, set free. My shackles are broken. Come on, somebody believe in the club. I am delivered. Yeah. Deliver. My shackles are broken. Hey. Whoa. I've been set free. Woo. It's my time to break free. It's my time to break free. Lord, I've been waiting. Lord, I've been waiting. 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 It's my time to break. Yeah. Hallelujah. I've been set free. Let's 
struggle. The struggle is over. Hey! In the name of Jesus, I am delivered. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. Hallelujah. Hey! I've been set free. Set free, set free, set free. Hey! My struggle is over. It's my time to break free. Lord, I've been waiting. Anybody been waiting? Anybody been waiting? It's my time to break. My God. Hallelujah. I've been set, set free, set free, set free. Hey, it's my time. Somebody need that deliverance. Cry out to God. Lord, I've been waiting. <laughs> it's my time to break free. I've been set. Hallelujah. Come on, one more time. You've got to break it. It's my time to. Oh, yeah. It's my time to break. Ah. Lord, I've been waiting. Lord, I've been waiting. 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 It's my time. Glory to God. Hey, I've been set. The struggle is so. Hey, the struggle is. Hey, oh shit. Hey, I am delivered. Look up. Hey, the struggle is. Look up. Somebody praise him. Ha! Let faith arise in your hearts. Ha! Put the devil to shame. Ha! Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah! Oh, When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises up a standard against him. Ah! Pushed at me that I might fall, but the right hand of the Lord will valiantly. Yeah! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Your grace avail it. Your grace is sufficient. Hallelujah. Turn this thing around. Cause what the devil meant for evil to be turned around for good. 
Come on, somebody cry out to God. Daddy wants to hear your voice this morning. Yeah. If you turn up your cups to him, he will fill it up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Angels are an assignment. Holy Ghost is moving. Anointing is flowing. The blood is quickening. The word is cutting. And it's trying. The strongholds of the enemy are being broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 You are the same one. You're still working miracles. Still doing wonders. Yeah. Shift. Divine shift. Rivers of living waters flowing in this place. Washing away every debris. Washing away every filth. Washing. Removing the stagnant waters. <laughs> And bringing in rivers of living waters. Refreshing the inner man. Mm. Renewing the inner man. With power from an eye. <laughs> Somebody cry out to God. While you're praising here, something is happening here. Something is happening. Something. 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 Hey! 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 My God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost on fire. Away every chain that's been holding you down, that's been shackling you, that's been holding you back. The anointing of Christ is flowing in the house. The devil can't stand this. This is not a man thing, this is a God thing. In the name of Jesus, mountains are moving, strongholds are broken, shackles are destroyed, chains are falling. Right now, in the name of Jesus. The stronghold of the enemy has been broken. <laughs> His divine spirit is moving in this atmosphere. In this atmosphere. Come on, somebody. Lift up your hands and praise the Lord. Spirit to spirit, soul to soul. Oh God. Ha -ha. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Ha -ha. You're in the very presence of the King. Yeah. His glory, His glory is in the house. Yes, 
yes Lord all the glory to you Lord and all the honor and all the praise Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. I'm going to share my message. I'm going to share my message. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to share my message. Serve it, Lord, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. I see you high and lifted up, and your train fill the temple. Thank you, Lord. Ah, your presence is heaven to me. Everything you do is well done. My God. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wash us in your presence. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo. My God. <laughs> Divine overflow. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord. For whom you set free is free indeed. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, my Father. I bless you and I worship you. I honor you, O great King. <laughs> Majesty. Worship his man. Just to unto Jesus we glory, we honor and praise. Oh, Majesty, Kingdom of Authority. on high the name of Jesus hey. magnify come glorify Christ Jesus our King oh, oh majesty oh worship his majesty So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus, our King. Oh, oh, majesty, worship His majesty. Jesus who died, Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Come on, one more time. So 
and so, so and so, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Hey, magnify, magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus, our King. Worship His Majesty. Hallelujah. Jesus who died. Hey, now glorified. King of all. Oh, Jesus who died. Jesus who died. Now glorified. Precious name. God, anyone want me to lay hand and just come quick, let me pray and lay hands on you. Praise God. If you believe in the deliverance of the Lord, you must exercise your faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those who got faith must act upon their faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Faith requires action. <laughs> faith without works is Oh, Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Fire is at the altar right now. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. The fire of the Lord is blazing at this altar. And anyone exercise their faith will not leave here the same. In the name of Jesus. We bind and sentence every work of Satan now. Cramp and paralyze it under the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we release the anointing of Christ over your life right now. The anointing of Christ. The anointing of Christ for your life right now in the name of Jesus. We bind every plan of Satan, the usurper, the accuser of the brethren. We release the anointing. We release the anointing. We release it. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we release it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you right now. In Jesus' name, come on, open your mouth and give God some. Watch demons run out of this place. They can't ever shot anywhere they take lodging. They got to go anywhere, anyway. We draw the sword of the spirit. We chop off the chain. We chop off the padlock. We chop it off. We cut off. Every device, the spirit of Satan. Every weapon we must have mass destruction. We cut off. 
every curse and spell and hex we break in the name of Jesus hallelujah in the name of Jesus 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 hallelujah in the name of Jesus 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 now release your feet. Release your feet. Release your feet. <laughs> Anything God wants to. Because <laughs> it's in Him we live. And we move and we breathe. And we have our being. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Push, push, you know, start push it. Shut up. Shut up. Keep that within you. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Reach out to God and let the power, the power, the power, the power of God break every shackle, everything the enemy set as net and steer in your life. We cut it out. We root out every root of iniquity. We block it out. Cast it in the pit to be burned with fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire rain on you right now. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire! 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 Melt like wax in the presence of the Lord. Melt, 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 melt. Melt, 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 melt. Melt, 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 melt to the deep places, to the deep places. Anywhere they will chop it off. We be able to shandal a masitu. Holy Ghost and fire we say. And it burn, 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 burn. Mana mama shatarabasitu. Let it burn. Ayelabo shata. Shama say to torment and afflict them. He has to cut up a bush in the cut them off. Every one of them, 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 every one of them. Drive them back in the pit, back in the pit, out of that house, out of those children, out of the family. He can't keep holding your life. Enough is enough. He can't keep holding it. We chop it off, bind it up, and send it back to the pit of hell where it comes from. Time for you to be loose. And who the sun set free. Mm -hmm. It's free indeed. We want the freedom that comes from Christ. Heavenly freedom. Not the early one. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Tear down every wall. Make the devil uncomfortable. Tom.
torment and afflict him. Send your angelic course with flaming sword to pierce and to afflict them. Pierce their scales, pierce the armor, run through the belly. Pokorababoshanda, block out what they have swallowed up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, blow. Breathe upon them. Spirits. Hey, every tormenting spirits. Every slothful spirits. <laughs> every lethargic spirits. Spirits of heaviness. We attend destruction. We cut you off. We cut you off. We cut you off. We cut you off. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because God speak deliverance. I say God speak deliverance. Deliverance of his people. Move quickly, man. My God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We break and cut them off. They can't operate here. We lock them down. Marka Roshi Besete. Holy Ghost and fire work here, sir. Mm -hmm. And burn out every impurity. Every doorway the Lord, the devil have to your life. Every doorway demons have. Marka Roshama. We seal with the blood of Jesus. And I sign the angelic horse with flaming sword to guard and protect fire to the enemy now. Burn out in this in peace. Burn it out, burn it out, burn it out. Burn it out, burn it out. Burn! Burn it! Burn it! We're not here to cohabit with them. We are here to see the glory of God. And His glory must be seen in us. It's Christ in us. The hope of glory. The hope of glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Christ in us. Christ in us. Christ in us. Christ in us. The eternal life. <laughs> the life, the word of life. <laughs> the word of God. Release. That eternal life now, Father. Ah. Release it now. Release it now. Release it now. Release it now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. That's right. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it. Release a double portion over you right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that you will exceed your wildest expectation. That God will arise and your enemies will be scattered. That the name of God will be magnified in your life. 
Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mark the home with your blood. Every door post, every window, every exit, every entrance, the fence, the gateway, the hallway. Seal with your blood. Bless the food and the water. Cover the clothing. Cover the bed. Show Baba Mama said to seal them with your anointing right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Clear the atmosphere around that house. Clear the atmosphere through that house. Remove every spirit that is not of you. And let your angelic coast take habitation be. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Ah, ah, ah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Your kingdom reign forever and ever. Your kingdom reign forever and ever. Your kingdom reign forever, ever, 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 ever. Always, always, always. Always, always, always. Oh, she ba 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 your kingdom reign forever forever and ever your kingdom knows no end your kingdom knows no end from glory to glory from faith to faith from strength to strength yes lord from grace to grace ever increasing ever increasing <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise him. If you received of him, praise him. Praise him some more. Give him the best praise you've got. Yes, Lord. This praise is for your father. This praise is for your God. This praise. Hallelujah. Hmm. My God. My God. That is deliverance. Deliverance must take place that's why we said this is church we don't come here to play dolly house we come to see the power of god demonstration and manifestation of the power of god in the name of jesus you receive it. Hallelujah. You receive it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I claim the victory. And I thank you Hallelujah. for delivering me. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Who the sun set free is free indeed thank you for coming praise god you're gonna release you now our time is up but we're still ministering praise god because god is still doing a work praise god eh? yes i know praise god anybody is up olive oil you want me to consecrate praise god Hallelujah. It's all right. See a man anointing it. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Lord, we raise it up before you. We thank you for your grace and more grace. Your grace is sufficient, Father. Raise them up before you as points of contact with your anointing and your power. That great deliverance will come to your people and that your name will be exalted that they will find and trust in the power of your name they will keep believing in the name of the son of god hallelujah and know that it is you that caused them to triumph over the wicked one thank you father you are the one who made it all possible continue to do the work for you have never failed and you never will and we give you the praise and the glory in jesus name amen praise god hallelujah yes lord also lord grace and favor anointing and peace over this home over these oils and these vessels that your enemy will see your power show. You said when they see the blood, they will pass over you. And that this will become as the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And as his healing fountain that is flowing. For their deliverance and for their recovery. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless you. Praise God. Somebody give God the praise. Who oh, oh, put that 500 in the basket? Right? Um, when people sow here, we sow in envelopes. We don't drop money like that in basket. Hallelujah. Praise God. Who's, uh, just put it in an envelope and uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We don't drop money in basket like that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. My God. Somebody give God the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Who the sun set free is free indeed. And this is the place you want people to be truly delivered. I mean, you've been delivered, feel free. Yes, you can buy it. So, when you've been delivered, it's from your own willingness. You say, then I want to sow into this ministry because I've received of it. We are not like most churches that say so first and then we pray for you. <laughs> no, we've already ministered to you. So, whether you give or not, you already ministered to. Praise God. So, but you can decide then to give to the Lord, to the work of the Lord. And understand that there's a harvest coming to you from doing that. Amen. 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 Praise God. So if, the, if you believe in that, then you will see the result. Come on now. The report will follow. And we want to hear the reports next week. When I ask for testimony, I want to hear what the Lord is doing since you've been coming here. Come on now. We want to hear it because we believe that God is calling you to this place for that purpose. To show forth his glory. Come on now. That his kingdom come and his will be done. In your life as it is done. In heaven. And so you don't have to go to heaven to experience the power of heaven. Because that's not how kingdom operates. The prime minister of Jamaica don't have to move to Montego Bay. To run things in Montego Bay. He stays from Kingston and do so. Because that's how kingdom operates. The throne do to have to move for the same power to work there as it works here. Once it's under its governance, the decree is made and everything under its governance have to respond to it. You got it? Praise God. That's the same thing he's saying. It's not about going to heaven. It's about being a citizen of the kingdom of God and understanding that that's the purpose God have all along. God's purpose was not to take you to heaven. He didn't make man for heaven. Make man for the earth. Amen? Amen? Praise God. That's why I said in the scriptures that the heavens, even the heavens are the Lord, but the earth 
as he given to the sons of men praise god so even all those who died already that is in heaven guess what they are coming back to earth because what when the word scripture say christ come to the earth does he say leave again no he's coming to stay with men here on the earth and he said it be a new heaven and a new earth amen even the new jerusalem he says john said i saw that city coming down so where was it coming down to to earth come on now so it is earth that god made for man and it is earth you are going to be living on hallelujah but god is going to move from his city everything that offend everyone that practice lawlessness and promotes others to do it god will remove from that city to be called a city of the righteous only the righteous will dwell there hello praise god and so he wants you to be in that number that's so but he says outside the gates there are cowards and sorcerers and who are mongers and adulterers and unbelievers he says they will burn in the lake of fire outside the gates come on now so that is for those who don't hear the gospel that's where they end up but you who hear the gospel he said now you must live in a way that show that you are walking worthy to to have residence in that city what you say Amen. praise god because if you don't faithful in little how will you be faithful in much so if you're not faithful in this skin that getting aging and, and dying is getting old and will soon perish how will you be faithful in a body that will not grow old see if people are not faithful in this body that is aging and dying how will they be in a faithful in a body that will not grow old so he said he has a body for you that will not age he said you will change from mortal to immortality from a physical body to a spiritual body and so he says that's what the kind of nature of body you need to be in that city into that environment flesh and blood can exist into it because flesh and blood can ever manage the sun when it is at its full full height much more the glory of god because say, the glory of this glory of the sun he says the son of god is brighter than the glory of that sun he said it is so bright till there's no night there when the sun go down it's still right come on so if your body can manage that amount of light from sun or your body can manage the light the glory that comes from the son of god that's why it says you need flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god come on because flesh and blood cannot go there it, it can manage that environment praise god as it, the, the body is just too frail for that environment you need a new body for that that's why it says those who are alive and remain shall be changed in the twinkle of an eye from mortal to immortality and the dead in christ shall rise and they shall appear with him praise god and it says we as so shall we ever be with him forever no so yeah man you no, can't be with him in this flesh and blood body that can't manage them someday so that's what he tell you say there's going to be a change so if you you if you're just living just for this body you can perish with it because it is already perishing from it born one day we say one day old we never say one day young and anything go old is becoming it will age and die you know so yes man see him so you go right so we want to know the truth and embrace the truth what you say you've been blessed by the lord today Praise God, what an awesome day in the house of God, man. And such with the increase in faith, deliverance. You know, long more have such a service like this, boy. You want to feel good. Hallelujah. Praise God. Such a day and Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise God. Day tomorrow again. Same way. Same time. Hallelujah. Praise. And it's doing good. Hallelujah. The testimony them, they increase. Hallelujah. Oh, you love that praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah 
we well, lift those hands to Jesus let me release you father we just thank you for your anointing and for your grace in our lives for how you have ministered to us today we embrace your chastening your correction your encouragement your exaltation that the words you have spoken to us they are spirit and they are life and he said those who receive them he says the life in the word is eternal and those who receive the word receive that eternal life and those who abide in it shall experience the fullness of that eternal life and so we thank you for the grace that is released to them now to overcome the enemy and to be victorious we thank you and praise you and give you the glory as you continue to lead us into all truth and all those steps in your word we give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name Amen. Amen. Praise God. You all so already? You all so already? All right. Praise God. Let me release you. But may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord open his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you real good. Have a great weekend in the Lord. Until then, be strong in the Lord. The power of his might bless you all.